Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sharon and this is the fourth chapter in our healthcare management course. Today, we will be discussing lab management using ERP Next. By the end of this chapter, you will know creating lab templates, setting up item master, sample collection, invoicing and lab reports. Labs play a critical role in the diagnosis and treatment of patients. Upon patient encounter, healthcare practitioners may recommend lab tests to assess the patient's condition correctly. If the lab facility is available with the healthcare provider, this information needs to be communicated to lab technicians along with patients. Technicians collect the sample as per specifications and conduct the test to come up with the results which are then communicated to healthcare practitioners and patients. ERP Next provides features to automate this via email and SMS alerts so that patients can proceed with booking further appointments. ERP Next allows lab test templates to be created so that technicians adhere to the processes and the standards defined. Let's see how we can manage lab tests in ERP Next. Now, let's assume our practitioner Stephen suggests a CBC, stress test and MRI scan. But we also have a lab test unit within our healthcare system, which would mean that Blake just needs to visit the lab department and get the test done. However, there are a few configurations required in the lab management department which allows our lab technician John to log test requests, collect samples, conduct tests and give out results. Let's understand what configurations will be required by John so that we can ensure a fast-paced lab testing service. In healthcare settings, if the lab test template has sample collection configured, then on creating the lab test, sample collection documents will be created automatically. ERP Next Healthcare also allows the creation of lab tests automatically when any lab tests are built. This can configure by enabling create lab test on sales invoice submission. Checking the do not print or email lab test without approval checkbox will restrict printing and emailing of lab test documents unless they have the approved status. If we want the name and designation of the employee associated with the user who submits the document to be printed in the lab test report, we can select this checkbox. Lab test template allows us to create all types of lab tests rapidly. We can pre-configure the events and results for varied tests so that we don't have to fill in redundant data every single time. Let's create a lab test template. Navigate to the lab test template and click on new lab test template. Specify the name of the lab test. Items are created automatically on template creation for managing the billing workflow of lab test. A default item code will be generated which we can change if required. We can group the lab tests based on different criteria using this field. We can either create an item group or choose from the existing ones. Select the medical department for which this lab test is conducted. We can disable the templates when they are not being used by checking the Disable checkbox. The linked item is also disabled on disabling a lab test template. Here, we will have to specify the result format for the lab test. Single. In this type of lab test, only one result value is interpreted. After filling up the details specified in the first step, the UOM, the secondary UOM, and normal range needs to be set. For example, the hemoglobin test is often used to check for anemia. 
usually along with a hematocrit or as part of a complete blood count that is cbc compound in this result format the sample is tested for multiple events these events need to be configured in the compound table you can set the events and specify the uom secondary uom conversion factor and normal range for each event if at all some events results need not be specified in the lab test you can check allow blank for that event if this is not checked the system will not let you submit the lab test unless all the result values are set for example let's take a cbc blood test where you have multiple measurable components against which standard normal range is specified descriptive these types of tests are used for testing multiple result components you can also configure the testing the sensitivity of the sample for various antibiotics by enabling the sensitivity option in the template you can use the allow blank option to allow keeping result entries blank for certain components grouped a group result format is used to create a lab test result as a group of other test or events for example a complete hemogram a complete hemogram test is a group of tests performed on a sample of blood hemogram serves as a broad screening panel that checks for the presence of any diseases and infections in the body hemogram tests mainly test the three components of blood hemoglobin the dlc blood test that measures the percentage of every single type of wbcs in the body tlc test which determines the number of wbcs in our body neutrophils we can configure the uom secondary uom and normal range in case of events on selecting other tests in the table the system automatically fetches the description and rate of those single or compound tests lastly we have no result these are the tests that have no result values let's select single result format for this example and proceed here we can provide a detailed description of the test if the test is billable select this check box once checked we will have to specify the rate for the lab test in this field in this case the item price will be configured automatically when the template is saved we can configure the sample that has to be collected while creating the lab test select the lab test sample and set the uom and quantity required we can also configure the medical code standard and medical code for your templates in the medical coding section next we can configure the instructions for lab technicians in the worksheet instruction section lastly in order to help easily interpret the test report we can add some information here select the position where you want to print this information and configure the legends in the result legend field once we have all the necessary lab test templates configured we can start creating lab tests by selecting a test template to create the lab test let's go to lab test from the awesome bar and click on add lab test set the naming series and the lab test template we just created the medical department will be automatically fetched from the template once we select our patient their details will also be auto fetched we can select the practitioner and the lab technician here once we click on save all the data configured in the template will be fetched and set in the lab test document 
As the report gets ready, you can enter the details of the results in the lab test document. Once submitted, we can send an SMS or email to the patient to share their results. For this, we must set up SMS settings. Let's navigate to the Sample Collection doc type and click on New Sample Collection. Once we enter the name of the patient, all the patient details will be auto-fetched. Select the lab test sample in the sample field. Set the quantity of the sample collected. Select the user who collected the sample in the collected by field. Set the date and time of sample collected in the collected on field. Click on save and submit. This brings us to the end of the fourth chapter in our healthcare management course. I hope this helped you understand lab management using ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next Healthcare on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss inpatient management. Thank you.